Today in this video we will discuss optometry principle. This is the principle used in auto reflection and uh, according to this principle you need a convex lens and a movable target and uh, convex lens is placed in such a way that its second principal focus f2 lies in the spectacle plane spectacle plane is the position where if you wear glasses the position of the glasses in front of the eye is the spectacle plane so you place a convex lens in front of the eye in such a way that its second principal focus lies in the spectacle plane now we have three cases if the target is present at first principal focus of the convex lens then the light rays emerging from the lens will be parallel and at spectacle plane they will be again parallel and inter the eye and focused on the retina this will be a case of emetropia in the second case the target is clear at a point within the first principal focus of the convex lens so the light rays at the second principal focus or at the spectacal plane will be diverging this is simulating a concave lens so it will indicate myopia so this is the case of myopia in the third case the target is clear at a point outside first principal focus of the convex lens so the light rays coming at spectacal plane will be converging simulating a convex lens converging lens this is the case of hypermetropia so this instrument basically measures the divergence of light at spectacal plane and convert it in diopters here for example uh, since light rays are diverging so power may be minus 4 so the instrument will show that the refractive error is minus 4 in this case the refractive error is null so it will show zero power in this case it may show plus 3 so to conclude this principle the divergence of light rays at the spectacle plane depends upon position of target from the first principal focus of the convex lens greater this difference greater will be the refractive error so this is optometer principle